It is the largest number of students forced to quarantine. Only took five positive cases of COVID-19. Put more than 100 students out of class at Cactus Shadows High School. And we can tell you that they are dealing with this outbreak of coronavirus. Uh, ABC 15's Cameron Polam tonight with the impact on students, teachers, and the school year. The varsity football team here at Cactus Shadows High School forced to cancel their very first game of the year. The coronavirus infecting at least three players on the team. An outbreak that now has dozens of students learning from home tonight. Many of the students here at Cactus Shadows High knew classmates had tested positive for the virus, but are just now learning the dramatic impact of those tests. I guess I'm just shocked. I mean, I feel like I should have been told something. 100 students remain at home today, forced into a limited online learning model, quarantined after five students tested positive for COVID-19 within the last two weeks. I got an email that said that somebody had tested positive in her my daughter's classroom, but they had not been sitting by her. Julie Clark's daughter was lucky. District officials say the largest outbreak centered around the varsity football team. Coaches and team members all placed in lockdown, their first game canceled. There's a lot of concern going on about contact tracing about where these some of these students have been. According to the district superintendent, two of the students who tested positive may have actually gotten the virus on campus. The others appear to have brought the virus to the school. The district says because students attend five different classes per day, contact tracing led them to quarantine any students who were within six feet or spent more than 10 minutes around those who tested positive. We don't have class sizes of 40 per se, but we do have class sizes of 35 or 36. And there's always the concern about how you keep yourself safe when you really can't socially distance in a classroom like that. Leading to the question, are students taking enough personal responsibility on campus and off it? Even if you're going to hang out at your friend's house, how are you protecting yourself when you're out at your friend's house, per se? You know, that that's the community responsibility, and that's something that we as educators don't have any control over. We know 100 students remain in quarantine off campus tonight. Five have returned to school. Now, the superintendent says while the numbers are startling, it was out of an abundance of caution that they removed those students from campus, and it shows parents that they are taking the safety of those students seriously. I'm Cameron Polam, ABC 15, Arizona.